Chapter 12 Search or Achievement Body of Light The Body of Light – this is the first body of the space of consciousness, that is, the God of Eternity. It is not achieved, but is always present as the fundamental principle of the creation of the Divine Consciousness and is hidden by the karmic subtle body of the Ego Consciousness of the Soul and is not realized due to the individual accumulations of the Ego Consciousness when the karmic Ego Consciousness is dissolved by the practice of zeroing, when the game body, the Consciousness of the Soul, dissolves as unnecessary in the personal game in the game universe of the Living Spirit and the personal Soul, dissolves in its first body of the luminous space of the Living Consciousness and becomes again the God of Eternity. So one achieves or returns to oneself, one's own forgotten state, the God of Eternity. The process is described to us in information sources as dissolving yoga practice in multicolored light radiation with the disappearance of the physical body of the practitioner and leaving only hair and nails in place. But they do not describe that during this dissolution, the practitioner also dissolved his individual soul and ceased to be a personal ego consciousness, having regained his divinity in the first body of the subtlest luminous single living consciousness or God of Eternity. So the practitioner achieves or returns to himself his unity with himself one, the God of Eternity or what people are presented with as body of light. This is a state of unity with the original one where the game state or samsara as consciousness in the game of eternity and nirvana as a state outside the game, balance each other in pure contemplation on the original essence and emptiness of all the eternal games of consciousness and align everything with pure vision. It follows that pure contemplation of one's eternity is a single path to one's own, since in it an individual illusory temporary player melts and the eternal state of one's unity of consciousness begins to be realized as a game of self-knowledge of oneself. For illusory games in samsaric duality, we one's consciousness in endless images of individual players. So the path to search and achieve a body of light, like a search for a beautiful dream, ego consciousness, leads to nowhere or always to oneself as one as to something that has already taken place for a long time and was not seen and unconsciously under the cover of a karmic game in the ego consciousness, having dissolved which the body of light of consciousness shines inside forever. So the thirst for karmic games subtly hides the desired prize, which has never been hidden from us, but the illusion of the karmic player as witchcraft or hypnosis doesn't allow one to realize oneself as the original luminous unified consciousness. So who fears the illusion of karma? Maybe the ego consciousness, which longs to receive into its submission the power and strength hidden in a single consciousness, not realizing that illusion will never subdue the essential source of consciousness. Therefore, stop holding on to the illusions and fantasies of the ego consciousness and having dissolved them. In pure contemplation, you will return to yourself as single self, as a luminiferous consciousness of your unity, and the body of light will not be achieved, but return to a single owner, that is, you, by the method of dissolving illusory miracle hungry karmic bodies of the control of ego. So the source of consciousness, the God of Eternity, that is, you. Protect yourself from the power of your illusory ego consciousnesses, players who would like gain power over the source of eternal consciousness or the God of Eternity. If that were to happen, then illusions would capture the source and everything would turn into a house of consciousness. But this doesn't happen in the source, since the protection from the illusory game karmic ego consciousness works and doesn't let illusions into itself. Knowing what they lead to and pure contemplation of yourself is on guard as a source and all of yourself illusorily playful, 
where the reaction to the state in the game is a sieve that sifts out the source from itself illusorily playful. Remove the reaction of the states in the game and to the game, and the karmic accumulation of the consciousness of the soul will melt. While the soul will feel the meaninglessness of its illusory duality and want to dissolve in its divine unity, this is not achieved. But what is always you are returned to yourself. This is the first body of the luminiferous consciousness, which people call the body of light. Therefore, the question is not posed correctly how to achieve or create the body of light. The correct question is what are you ready to give or lose for this? From the karmic dissolution of the ego consciousness to the dissolution of the soul in oneself, for the sake of the body of light, or for the sake of returning yourself to yourself as a source of consciousness of the unity of yourself in yourself, that is, the God of eternity. Think about it.